Hey buddy, I found a great alternative to the Notepad app on Windows 10. It is called Notepads and is an open source UWP app available on Microsoft Store which supports tabs and markdown editing. So without wasting any time, let's check out the app. To get started, let's open the app by searching Notepads on the start menu. This is how the app looks. It is very much like the Notepad app that comes with Windows 10 but is more modern and updated. Starting from the bottom, you will find the status bar. Unlike the Notepad app which comes pre-installed with Windows 10, this Notepads app has a well thought out UI and UX. Clicking the file location text will show you the option to reload the file from the disk again allowing you to discard any changes you have made after opening the file. On the right side of the status bar, if there are any unsaved changes, notepads will show this modified link. Clicking on it will show you two options. Clicking on the preview text changes menu will show you a diff view of what you have added, modified and removed inside that file. It is very good to see this feature as it will be very useful while writing documents with markdown. To close the diff view, click on the small X button on the top left corner of the document. If you are someone who works with multiple operating systems like Windows, Mac OS and Linux, clicking on the Windows CLRF text will allow you to switch between different line ending characters. Next to that, you will find the text encoding for the currently opened file. Clicking on it will allow you to switch between different encoding formats. Notepads also has a live markdown preview mode, but for that, we will first need to open a markdown file. To open a file, clicking the menu in the top left corner and then clicking the open menu will do the job, or simply pressing Ctrl O, just like you do in any other editor, will also work. Now you will see the default file opening dialog where you can select any markdown file and simply open it. Right click anywhere on the empty space and click on toggle preview to open the live markdown preview mode or simply press ctrl P to open it in a quick way. Once you open the preview panel, anything you type in the document will automatically get rendered in the preview panel. To close the preview window, simply press ctrl P shortcut or click once again on the toggle preview menu. A very useful and cool feature of notepads is the compact overlay mode which can be enabled by clicking on the menu icon and then selecting compact overlay or simply pressing the F12 key. Once compact overlay mode is enabled, the app gets transformed into this and always stays on top allowing you to continue writing your document. This is by far the best feature as it helps a lot when doing research on the internet and writing your document at the same time. Now let's see some of the settings you can change with the Notepads app. To open settings, click on the menu and select settings. Here you can change the font and the text size. By scrolling down, you can also change the way tab key behaves inside the editor. Having 4 spaces is what I use for most purposes. Going into the personalization tab, you can change the opacity of the app by adjusting the slider. I like to put it at around 60%. You can also change the theme of the application as Notepads supports two themes, light and dark. But I like using dark themes as they hurt my eyes less when compared with light themes. You can also change the accent color which changes the top border of the tabs and a few other places. Coming to the advanced section, you can enable or disable session snapshots which basically means Notepads will remember any unsaved open files even if you close the editor and reopen it. Also, note that only the main window does remembering. All other windows opened at the same time will forget the opened files and their changes. Finally, going to the about section, you will find that this project is a free and open source project and you can find links to its GitHub repository where you can browse or contribute to the project. I really like and support free and open source software which are well designed and perform great. Please tell me in the comments if you would like to see more open source Windows UWP apps in the future. So that was it for this video. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. This is Wasn Developer, signing off.